Hi, welcome. This is the Electronic Bookshops. And today we have a repair video on uh, Plasma. Um, it's a 50 inch LG uh, model, LG um, 50PG3000. Um, the problem is there's no picture. And we do have a light here and you can hear the uh, relay clicking, but no picture appears. You will have sound if I connect an audio source to the SCART. Um, I'm going to take the back off this, reposition it on the bench on its face and reposition the camera. Uh, I won't show the process of taking off the back because uh, it would uh, take too long um, to do. The back is off. Um, uh, we're lucky with this uh, model of LG we don't have to put it on its face uh, it is a quite a heavy unit to uh, shift onto its face by yourself and uh, it's a little bit easier to work when it's in the upright position first place we're going to check is the uh, power supply and um, where we get our, our voltage uh, uh, measurements from is these connectors over here Two connectors one goes up to the, uh, the um, y sus and then the other one goes to the z sus then also we have on a label on the screen right up here our voltages you got the vs voltage 198 volts and the va is 67 you also got a, a 5.25 volts on it and we're going to measure these voltages at the power supply at them two uh, points I've just uh, uh, was at a few minutes ago first thing we're going to do now is check voltages on the power supply here uh, we got the values off the screen itself so I'm just going to zoom into the uh, connector up here the top right hand corner that goes off to the uh, y sus board and z sus board i'm going to plug in the unit here click and i'm going to check here first should have five volts okay we have five volts there and we should have our VS voltage on here that's 193.8 volts and if we go over here and look at our label it says 194 volts so that's correct Now we want to look at our VA volts. It's 59.9 volts. Sounds about right, but let's look at our label. Uh, the VA is 60 volts. That's close enough. We also got some voltages down here on the uh, bottom right hand corner. Down here on this connector. I'm just going to check those to make sure they're all present. Sixteen point two sixteen point two and this should be a sixteen point five volts. Third one down is a twelve volts. I say in twelve eleven point eight volts. Next one down is ground at zero. 5 volts, correct. The next one should be 5 volts as well. It's 5 volts. Next one is ground. 0 volts. Next one is ground again. That's 0 volts. And then we have our uh, controls after that. That's the relay on. VS relay on. Same 5 volts. 
and then we got M5V on. That's at 5 volts, sorry, that's at 3 volts as well. And the next one, the bottom one is at 3 volts. I'm not too sure what they should be at, but the rest of the voltages are roughly about right. So I could say more than likely that power supply is having no problems. Um, you can never be 100% sure. Now I'm going to go over here to this Y board and just there is a fuse right there. I want to check that to make sure that is not gone. And I'm just going to check both ends of it. That's saying 194, which is right for our VS. 194, which is correct. What I'm going to have to do now is um, remove the buffer boards on the left hand side here and just check them for any short in the buffer ICs and also check for any shorts on any of the transistors or FETs on this uh, YSUS PCB and um, there is screws you get the, take these screws out number numerous screws on it there's another one and you'll see another one down there in the bottom you'll see them as you go across here as well I'm going to take them out and um, I'm going to plug out the unit first incidentally there is another fuse over here on the uh, FedSus PCB. I'm just going to check that now uh, before I take off that other uh, PCB. That's right, no, okay. First thing I'll do is take out the uh, cables. Out and I would lift this up, pull this out, There's another one down here, pull it out, and then we have along here, all along down this side. I just get a close shot of that. So you can see what I'm doing. I lift them all up like that. And out it comes. Now this should just slide out. Okay. Top and bottom. Now we take out our Y sus. Two screws at the bottom. I know they're out of view, but uh Uh, 
Mooi sausage. I'm going to start checking the uh, transistors and diodes on this now for shorts. I'm just going to have to reposition the cameras and clear, clear up the bench a bit. I checked the uh, YSUS PCB for shorts on transistors and diodes and uh, checked all the fuses on it. Could find no shorts, um, could, not uh, could not find any open circuit uh, fuses, uh, couldn't find any burnt out components, but that doesn't mean it's in the clear. Um, there's no schematics available for um, these YSUS boards, so you're in the dark. But uh, what I did do, uh, and I didn't catch it on camera, was um, I disconnected the upper, upper buffer board and I plugged it in and the lower half of the screen came on with a, a dark screen. And uh, that meant my Y uh, SUS PCB is working to a certain extent. Um, before that, with the upper, uh, this upper, um, buffer in place uh, connected with the tabs here to the screen it wasn't working what I'm going to do is check these buffer ICs and uh, the way I normally do it is um, like with the uh, YSUS PCB there's no schematics for these either so I'm just using theory from doing some other earlier LG and the way I do it is, is the connectors, you should have a VS voltage in. And uh, this is the upper buffer. This one here is the upper buffer. This other one here is the lower buffer. And this copper strip here is your ground. So if I place my uh, one of my test leads on ground and this here then is my uh, uh, positive supply that should be uh, high voltage and uh, I'm getting a point six of volt drop across no matter what way I put it, alright? Do the same on this, now it's reversed on this, this is my ground and this one here. Okay, when I reverse the polarity of it, yes, I get a 0.6, but when this end here is positive, there's none. You have a boat ways of this. Then what I normally do is to try and find out which buffer I see is gone. There's four, there's six buffer uh, ICs on each board, and uh, must be. It's going to connect that there, and I would normally run down these pins to see if I got a short to ground on any of them. Yeah, they are both if I come to a shorted pin, and that's point two of a volt. Not exactly a dead short but there's a couple of pins there short on that. I'll run down this second one. No shorts on that. And then what I do is go down the last one down here. and I'm not getting shorts there. Now, what I can do then also, I can check, have we got a short to the supply that goes into it. And this here, on that top tab, I have the same problem. Go down the second tab, nothing 
Turret tab. Nothing. So there's one or two of these um, buffer ICs underneath this heat sink gun. Um, I'm not going to replace the, those ICs. They're just, uh, they can be done, but uh, it's a lot of work. Now we just go to the uh, the lower uh, buffer. And I'm going to do the same. Run it down the strip. Now I'm checking for a short to ground. All the way down that one, nothing. Second one. Nothing. And the last one at the bottom. I know it's probably out of shot. Nothing. Now we'll just go to the supply. Nothing. Nothing. From that now, more than likely, this button buffer I see is a buffer PCB is okay and it's only the top one that's faulty but uh, the problem is um, did the Y sus PCB here take out that top Y buffer and the cost of these you know you're getting close to uh, 100 sterling for one of these and uh, more uh, for the Y uh, sus. So you're probably talking about a job uh, parts alone costing about uh, 300 pounds plus whatever your uh, labor is on top of that. So you're, you're talking about a job that's going to cost somewhere in the region of 400 uh, pounds sterling at least. Um, that's just an estimate. I don't have an exact uh, price on the parts. And more than likely, uh, my experience with these, the customer does not um, pay out that type of money to get their TV repaired. And uh, the likelihoods of me showing you this up and working and fixed is uh, very small. Um, if I was doing the job for myself, I would... Um, make an attempt of the, doing this upper buffer on the uh, changing those ICs. I should imagine I'll be able to get them. It'll take me a while to get them. I'd have to uh, melt that glue around it and then remove that uh, heat sink and then remove the actual ICs and then try to find your replacement. Uh, probably you'll end up getting it from somewhere in China or someplace before, uh, that's where you would get your ICs for these LG won't supply separate parts uh, but anyway, if I get to go ahead with this job there will be a part two um, uh, thanks for watching